What's good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic Mod and Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure customs for you guys, as well as some other things that we're going to get into. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. If you guys checked out WWE action figure surgery, yeah, 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 you. If you checked out action figure appointment yesterday, not surgery, you dumb, stupid, idiot, moron, jackass, then you would have seen that we did a couple fix-ups here. I don't think, I think we have one of them featured right here. The Becky Lynch is over there. Uh, is it that important? And let me grab it just for the sake of the video. If you guys checked out that video yesterday, you guys would have seen the Becky Lynch that we made with this ponytail head sculpt on the Ultimate Edition. Looks freaking beautiful. I love this fix up. We removed the Elite 72 head sculpt, which is a great head sculpt in itself, but we put the ponytail head sculpt on there. Not only did we make that figure, but we also made this fix up Kurt Angle that we'll show off here. And just F it, get it over with. Here is the Elite 60 Kurt Angle, I think. And we put some customized boots on there from uh, back in the day. And I, I like this fit. I think it's an underrated fix. Up. A lot of people said it sucked. I, I don't agree with you, Bradley. But we also did that fix-up. And then the final fix-up that we did, which ties into today's video, is this Jeff Hardy right here, which is front and center that you guys can see. It is this Jeff Hardy Elite 67 fix-up slash custom. So yesterday, it was just an Elite 67 Jeff Hardy with the with the regular Elite 67 head sculpt. We popped the head sculpt off. We put the entrance greats Jeff Hardy head sculpt on there to give it that fix-up look. And then yesterday, so the the belt used to be white. The shoes had white on it. And then the sleeves, if you guys, let me grab the Elite 67 Jeff so we get a reference point. So yesterday, this is what the figure looked like. We took the entrance greats Jeff Hardy and we switched the head sculpt. So now it would have the green head sculpt on there. And I told you guys that I wanted to paint over all of the white on the sleeves in a lime green color to match the face paint. And this was the final result. So this is what we got going on. You guys can see here with the camo and the sleeves and everything. Thing. So I painted over all of the white, but on top of all the white getting painted over, I added in some blues. I added in a little bit of black as well because I didn't have a small enough brush to cover all these little white bits right here. So it did get a little bit messy in there. You know, it went over it lightly. You guys can kind of see the flow of everything. Got a little bit thicker with the green, tied in some more bluish color, and then I added in some black to mix it all together to get that like lightning paint splatter camouflage type uh, flow kind of going to it. And I think it turned out great. I'm actually very, very shocked at the way it came out. It came out a lot better than I thought it would, and uh, I saw somebody in the comment section below they actually recommended, why don't you you know, use all black shoes? Why is the damn saturation so bad? Not the saturation, but the exposure. I feel like it's super bright, and then usually I complain about it being too dark. Well, don't complain when it's too dark, and then complain when it's too bright. You in, in, you inconsiderate ass. So, this is what we got going on. Somebody recommended to me in the comment section below to make the shoes all black or the kick pads or the boots, whatever you want to call them. They give him kick pad feet. He really wears boots with straps on it, so I don't know what they're doing there, but this is what they used to look like. I went ahead and switched out the feet with like Seth Rollins feet or something because of the same kick pad mold. And then I ended up going with a purple belt because I felt the purple belt would probably look the best. I feel like it flows pretty nice. It ties into the hair. Uh, you got all the blues, blacks, and greens in the face tying into the sleeves. And then the purple belt ties in nice with the all black lower. I really like it. I think it turned out a lot better than I expected it to. I like it a lot. I would love to know what you guys think down below. And I know some people said to just keep it the way it was, but I really didn't want to. I wanted to change it up because I have so many of the Elite 67, and so I wanted to get some usage out of these sleeves and make some different fantasy attires and different fix-ups. So that's what we got going on right here. This is the Jeff Hardy, and I want to know what you guys think of that one down below, okay? So we did have the Jeff Hardy, and then we also have this other custom, and this one's going to be available for purchase. This is only the first of the different AJ Styles we're going to make. So I took Look, uh, if you guys watched our video from the toy hunt where we went to Walmart and we bought every single WWE figure, there was like three or four AJ Styles there, and I had to buy everything, right? That was the challenge. So what I did was I got four of the Elite 77 AJ Styles, and since I got four of them, I figured I could give back to you guys and let you guys uh, go ahead and pick these up if you would want to. So they're not done yet. I'm not going to list them on eBay until they're done, but I will have them up on eBay hopefully soon this week, and I just made this MDT Live slash kind of of black and pink AJ Styles, where I pretty much just painted over all the red in pink to give it kind of, I, I know that AJ Styles wore a very similar attire to this on MDT Live before, but you have the pink and white on the belt, you got the P1 logo on the elbow pad, you got the pink gloves, you do see the red coming through on the joints, because if you paint those joints, it's just going to rub off anyway, so I didn't paint that. I really wish that it had black joints because it would blend a whole lot better, but you know, maybe you have, uh, you know, a top talent AJ Styles, you can easily pop the uh, gloves off here, pop in some 
black hands and paint it up or, or something of that nature to get in the pink. Or you could just switch it for, for black gloves and call it a day. That would also work, but I like the pink a lot better. On the sides here, we do have some logos going on. So you do have the little samurai head logo there with the pink and black and white. And then on the other side, it says the OC in that same color. Got the same pink color going on there. I did remove this logo over here. I just think the all black ties in nicely than the, you know, the Japanese lettering that was right there. And then over here on the kick pads, I painted over the phenomenal one in pink. For some reason in this attire, AJ has like white over here and then silver over here. So that's why this one's silver and that one is white. Wasn't going to paint over that. Would have been a big pain in the Botox. But on the back of the kick pads, you do have the nice pink color. And then he also includes his entrance vest. So when you get the figure on eBay, when it is finally listed, you will get the entrance vest included with it, which has the pink P1 logo on it. It is not going to come with the OC shirt. So that's unfortunate, but we do have uh, the pink AJ Styles right there. So this is the first one. This is kind of the prototype, if you will. This specific one will be listed soon, but uh, this is just sort of showing off what they will look like. So I should have three or four of those available over there one time, uh, hopefully later on this week. But also another custom that I've been working on is uh, some uh, a couple of customs, or actually I think three or four. But over here we do have a couple work in progress. This first one, guys, is this like, I don't really know what I was going for. I want to do like a Carnage inspired Finn Balor, and that's what we kind of got going on with this head sculpt so far. So, so far so good right now. You kind of have like the eyes of Carnage coming up the middle here. So this is going to be kind of like a fantasy attire mixed together with like his Venom Prince Devitt attire mixed together with his Wrestle Kingdom attire that he wore back in the day that looked like Carnage. I think he said that it, it wasn't supposed to be Carnage inspired, but then when it was finished, it just kind of looked like Carnage, so he kind of ran with it. But I think this was a regular uh, basic NXT head sculpt, so I did paint all the black on there. It's of course all hand painted here, but I am pretty hyped for the way this is coming out so far. I got to add a bunch of designs. Like I have a very wicked vision for this, but it's going to take me a little bit of time. These eyes did take me a minute. As you guys can see, it's on there pretty smoothly. Pretty proud of the paint job so far, but we do have a while to go, and I do want to add some details and stuff to the figure. But the head sculpt is pretty much done, but except for a few designs, and I got to add the chest paint, the shoulder paint, arm paint, trunks. I mean, there, there's a lot to do here, but I think when it is finished, it will be a beautiful piece. But not only do we have the Finn Balor in a work in progress, we of course still have our Leo Rush that we're still working on. I ordered the head sculpt. The head sculpt is on the way. Just got to wait for it to come in. Hopefully, it may be even in today. We'll have to see about that. Speaking of which, My Damn Halls, man. We need to get some more My Damn Halls episodes. Just haven't had a lot of figure stuff come in, and if I have, it hasn't been enough for a video. It's been more of just, you know, custom stuff and getting fix-ups done. But here's the base for our Leo Rush figure. I did get the decals from Curb Stomp City Custom Decals. If you want to get custom decals or you want to get decals for your customs, Curb Stomp City Custom Decals is the way to go. And I have all his decals here. I got to put all of his tattoos on. I am going to remove one of these sleeved arms and put on a regular skinned arm and put the tattoos on there. So that is something I will be doing, but I got to wait on the head sculpt. So we do have Leo Rush. That is a work in progress. And then the other one that we have is Luchasaurus. I got all of his tattoos. I got his head sculpt. Now I just got to figure out the exact formula I want. So we have our decals and tattoos. We have our Luchasaurus head sculpt, which you guys have already seen a million times before, I'm pretty sure. But I'm in the process of making my new improved Luchasaurus. So we got to get that one completed. And I'm trying to figure out if I want to, I'm trying to figure out what formula I want to use. So I was thinking about using a Triple H body or I was going to use a Kane body. So these are the two choices that I have. Now I like both of them. They both have their pros and cons. Kane is taller, so it makes Luchasaurus look bigger, but Triple H has more of a muscular torso, and he is on ball joints, so you can switch these legs out for other things. I actually like the skin tone of Triple H more, too. I think it's more accurate to Luchasaurus. I think Luchasaurus stands at 6'5 or 6'6". Six, six. I think Triple H is around 6'4", and I think Kane's like 6'10", 6'11", so... But then if you compare this to like somebody like AJ Styles, this looks like Luchasaurus size, you know what I'm saying? But this right here, I don't know. Like, Luchasaurus isn't that tall, though. I know it seems like he is. He's a bigger guy, but I don't know. I'm trying to still work out the formula. I want it to look good. I want it to look right, and I want it to look proportionate, and I want the figure to look badass. I know it's going to look badass because this head sculpt is beautiful, and the tattoos are going to look great and everything. We're going to fix it up nice, but I still want it to be as best as possible. And if you guys are wondering why the rest of these customs are here, is I was thinking to myself, you know, we've made this custom, and the Jeff Hardy, and the AJ Styles, and we made this Kevin Owens on action figure surgery, and then you know that we did do the tutorial on the Roman Reigns rains, the camera's falling over. But what I was thinking was, is this is still a perfect time for that custom of the month championship. I just haven't had any time to work on the championship itself. But this would have been an epic moment. This would have been an epic month to compete, man, because 
we have so many good contenders and you guys could have voted on it, but I would like to know down below which one is the best custom. Do you guys like the pink AJ Styles the most so far? I know the Finn Balor isn't completed, so I don't really want to count those. The Luchasaurus, the Leo Rush aren't completed either, but you have some cool customs here that could work out. You have the AJ Styles in pink. You have the Fantasy Attire green, black, and purple. Jeff Hardy, you have the updated Roman. You have the Kevin Owens, and I think that's pretty much our completed customs, like full-on paints and stuff like that, but we could do a fix-up championship. I don't know. That just idea popped in my head again. I really want to do it, but I got to figure out a way to make that championship happen and get some time to do it. I guess I need to just, while like while something's drying or something, go ahead, pull out the championship and work on it or try to do something. But I want to do something creative, and I want to have something really, really nice, and I kind of want it to be like a spin on the MDT championship, so I, I don't freaking know, man. But woo! A lot of ish on the plate. Trying to do the best I can. But I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the customs. I would love to know what you think of the Jeff, the AJ, the Finn, work in progress, the Leo, and the Luchasaurus. Which of these will win the custom of the month championship from MDT if we were voting on it? I would love to know. It'd be very hard if I was to select. I think I would probably go with Jeff or Kevin, even though I really like the Roman and AJ. I think Jeff or Kevin would probably take the cake. Just love that head sculpt and the way it came out. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for God in heaven. Thank you for God in heaven. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.